Hello. Good day to all my form 4 students. Today we are here to continue on our lesson video for the chapter Acid, Bases and Salts. We are doing part 7. Okay, so we are doing part 7. The previous video uploaded, teacher has wrongly written. Okay, I have wrongly written as part 4. So please take that as part 6. Part 6 was actually what teacher was discussing on pH value and the calculation on pH value and pOH values. Okay, so those who watch my video, please don't get confused. Teacher have wrongly written. Okay, part 6 is supposed to be part 6, the pH value of previous video. I rewrote that as part 4. Okay, so please rectify on that. So today we are going to continue on part 7 for the chapter Acid, Bases and Salts. So the subtopic that we are going to look today is on the relationship between pH value and concentration for acid and alkalis. Alright, okay now so let's look at what is the meaning of pH value. pH value we have done in our part 6 video. Okay, when teacher taught you on how to calculate the pH value using the formula negative log concentration of hydrogen ion or negative log concentration of hydroxide ion. I taught you the relationship between what is the relationship between pH value and pOH value and how to get a pH value of an alkali using the formula pH value plus pOH value is equals to 14. So, which was in part 6. Huh? So, today we are going to connect the pH value that we have already learned with the concentration of acid or alkali. Right now, let's look at the pH value. So, pH value depends on two factors for acid and alkali. Okay, so for acid, pH value higher hydrogen ion higher the amount or concentration of hydrogen ion lower pH value right okay so this is what I want you to remember for acids higher the amount of hydrogen ion okay so remember in part 3 video we were discussing about the strength of acid and alkali the teacher was drawing some graphs to show the strength of acid and alkali. So from there, degree of ionization will determine the concentration of hydrogen ion for acids. Now for alkali, pH value is determined by higher the amount of hydroxide ion, higher, higher the pH value. Okay, so please remember this very easy. Meaning, for instance, if we are talking about acid and alkali, pH 14, 0, 7 is neutral. So, for acid, it ranges from here to here. Lower the pH value, more or stronger the acid because higher the hydrogen ion, higher the hydroxide ion. Okay, higher the amount of hydroxide ion, pH value will be higher for um, uh, alkali. Right? Okay, now let's go to pH value. Now, teacher already tell you how you determine the pH value. pH value depends on what? Now, we are going to discuss pH value depends on what? Okay, so what does the pH value depend on? So, pH value depends on three factors. First is the strength of acid or alkali okay for instance acids for instance acids ethanoic acid versus sulfuric acid okay so ethanoic acid is a weak acid sulfuric acid is a stronger acid so the pH value might differ here okay depending on the strength of acid and alkali now let's go to second Depends on the molarity, which is concentration, which I have already teach you how to count the molarity of acid 
or or alkali all right molar ethene of acid or alkali okay acid or alkali now third is basicity of an acid okay so basicity basicity of an acid okay so where the number of ionizable okay ionizable how much because in acid why we are talking about acid is because for acid teacher have told you regarding monoprotic diprotic and triprotic acids so that is the reason why we totally depend on the basicity of acid whether it is going to be monoprotic diprotic or triprotic okay monoprotic diprotic or triprotic acid so these are the three factors affecting the ph value okay so now so now our teacher going to discuss on an example for your further understanding on what i have discussed or introduced to you here now let's look at ph value how does the concentration ph value for an acid now teacher have already written okay so you can look at your module but i am giving you a different type of example for your further understanding all right now look at what let's look at one type of acid just say nitric acid okay so nitric acid this is the formula for nitric acid so just say the formula sorry the ph value for nitric acid first is ph1 so this is stronger acid that means uh, not to say stronger acid we can say that it has more concentration concentrated less concentrated okay so less concentrated meaning more hydrogen ion when it ionizes here less hydrogen ion when it ionizes maybe the concentration just teacher just uh, giving an example the concentration for this here ph1 might be 1.0 mole dm cube here the concentration might be 0.1 mole dm cube can you see the difference same acid but different concentration so when you have different concentration the degree of ionization might same the is the same what what teacher mean by different is actually because the concentration of hydrogen ion is low and high and low that affects the ph value because when high nitric acid is an example of strong acid ionizers it ionizes fully in water okay so please remember this nitric acid is an example of strong acid so you have no doubt about the ionization it ionizes fully in water but unfortunately because the concentration of this acid same nitric acid here is 1.0 mole which is more concentrated versus 0.1 mole which is less concentrated the amount of hydrogen ion became different so that is the reason why the ph value is lesser for lesser the concentration of hydrogen ion now let's move on to alkali okay so let's move on to alkali so let's look at now i am going to compare with the same type of alkali for your further understanding huh? so let's look at an alkali sodium hydroxide another strong alkali now look at the ph value okay so ph value higher the hydroxide ion higher the ph value so just say ah huh, because here teacher have said the ph value is 8 that means this is a ph value stronger is ph 13 not 8 here for acid please remember is vice versa stronger acid is 1 okay so ph stronger ph is 1 versus 
Okay, now here stronger alkali is 13 versus 8. Alright, now here what has happened is more or less concentrated more concentrated. Okay, less concentrated, more concentrated here, less hydroxide ion versus more hydroxide ion. Now, please remember we are comparing the same type of acid. Sodium hydroxide is actually an example of a strong alkali. Sorry, not acid, alkali. So, since it's a strong alkali, the degree of ionization is full. It fully ionizes in water. Okay, so sodium hydroxide fully ionizes in water to produce concentration, almost high concentration of sodium ion and hydroxide ion. No doubt about that. But here, thanks to the molarity, we are looking at how does the molarity affect the acidity, sorry, not to say acidity, the pH value of acid and alkali. Here, I am suggesting that the uh, molarity is just 0 0.1 mole dm cube, which is less concentrated. Here, the concentrated, just a suggestion, 1.0 mole dm cube. So, can you see the difference? Okay, so this is more concentrated. Okay, this alkali, sodium hydroxide, same alkali, here is more concentrated versus here less concentrated. So, you can see how does it affect the pH value. Okay. Now, we are not comparing with the strength of acid and alkali. Why? Because I am discussing the same type of acid. Okay. And same type of alkali. We can't argue on the strength of acid and alkali here. Alright. Now, I am trying to show you how does the molarity. So, I want you to concentrate here. How does the molarity, okay, so this is this is where the game starts, okay, now, how does the molarity or the concentration affects the pH value? Now, look at this concept again, huh? so the pH value depends on molarity of acid and alkali, that is what teacher explained here. Now, I am so going to show you the example, what do I mean by strength of how does pH value affected by the strength of acid and alkali and maybe the basicity of acid and alkali. Alright, now let's look at this example. Please assume all the, cons all the acids given, I am comparing all this with acids, huh? so easy. Same concentration, okay, so just put this as concentration 1.0. Okay, so assume the concentration for this all these three types of acid is 1.0 mole. Okay, so same concentration, just say it's 1.0 mole. Okay, so easier. So now that means uh, this factor, I'm not discussing this factor. This has been already discussed here. Okay, now I'm going to discuss these two. Now, what I want you to do is please compare this and this. Oh, sorry, we have already written the molarity. Sorry, yeah. Huh? Okay, now, so 0 0.01 mole, 0 0.01 mole per dm cube, 0 0.01 mole per dm cube, right, per dm cube, huh? Okay, now, so let's go to how does it affect now. Nitric acid and sulfuric acid, they are, look, we are looking at the basicity of an acid. Can you look at the, now, even though concentration the same, look at the pH value. Looks like sulfuric acid is stronger compared to nitric acid. Okay, so you know, right? pH value, stronger the acid, okay, stronger the acid, lower the pH value because higher the concentration of hydrogen ion. Now, what happens here? Why sulfuric acid has lower pH value is because of sulfuric acid, 0 0.01 mole of sulfuric acid has two times 0.01 mole of hydrogen ion. Where did I get the two? Because of the basicity of the acid, which is sulfuric acid is a diprotic acid. 
nitric acid the pH value is lower because of 1 times 0 0.01 mole of hydrogen ion. Okay? Now, why 1? Because here, nitric acid is an example of monoprotic acid. Sulfuric acid is an example of diprotic acid. Okay? Monoprotic, sorry, monoprotic this is diprotic acid. So that is the reason why the concentration differs. Sorry, the pH value differs, not the concentration. Huh? Okay, so I want you to put a mole per dm cube. Teacher forgot to write this. Okay, so mole per dm cube. Mole per dm cube. Okay, now, so I hope you can understand. Huh? So the amount of hydrogen ion for sulfuric acid is higher compared to nitric acid even though both of them have the same molarity. So, I am trying for two example teacher trying to explain basicity of the acid. Now, let's go to strength of acid or alkali. Now, one example is I have written CH3COOH which is ethanoic acid. The name of this acid is ethanoic acid. Okay, now, can you see the pH value is again much lower compared to uh, sulfuric acid and nitric acid. Why? Because CH3COOH, if you watch my video part 3, you know that this is weak acid. Ionizes partially in water, in water. So, it has low concentration of hydrogen ion. Okay, so let me read this. Huh? So, since ethanoic acid, okay, so if you don't understand, please go to teacher's video part 3, acid bases and salts part 3 video where teacher have explained about strength of acid and alkali, which I was drawing the graphs. Right? So, ethanoic acid is a classic example of weak acid versus nitric acid is an example, popular example for a strong acid where these two, okay, so these two will have a different pH value because ethanoic acid is a weak acid. It ionizes partially in water to produce low concentration of hydrogen ion. Okay, so low concentration of hydrogen ion. Nitric acid is a strong acid. So can you see this one? So that means it ionizes fully in water to produce high concentration of hydrogen ion. So through this example, when you compare sulfuric acid and nitric acid, teacher have explained to you how does the basicity of acid. Okay, sulfuric acid considered strong acid. Nitric acid is considered strong acid even though they have same molarity. Why? Their pH value different? Because sulfuric acid, diprotic, diprotic acid, nitric acid, monoprotic acid. Can you see this? Diprotic, monoprotic. Now, when you compare nitric acid with ethanoic acid, you will find again the pH value differs even though the molarity, the concentration is the same. Why? Because now I am comparing strength of acid which is strong acid compared to weak acid where ionizes fully in water to produce high concentration of hydrogen ion or nitric acid versus ethanoic acid which is a weak acid ionizes partially in water to produce lower concentration of hydrogen ion. So, if you compare to this, higher the hydrogen ion, lower the pH value. No wonder, your nitric acid, the pH value is much lower compared to nitric, sorry, ethanoic acid. Right? So, I hope you can understand teacher's video of today. Okay? So, teacher will meet you in our next part 8 of acid, bases and salts chapter. Thank you for watching. See you all.